Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Husky 701 Adventure Bike Build Series. Uh, in this episode, we are talking about skid plates. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I want to start this video uh, with a question instead of ending with one. Are you guys interested in joining in on a live Q&A with me? Uh, I've never done that before. Uh, I've seen other YouTubers do that from time to time. Uh, I want to get to know uh, you guys better uh, instead of only talking about the materialistic things. That is a huge part of this YouTube channel, but still, you can ask me questions, I can ask you questions, we can talk, uh, and I will upload that video. Um, so uh, you uh, who missed it because of time zones, etc., uh, can watch it after it was recorded. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Having to lie on the floor here to show you the skid plate, uh, new loafers. You know you're a dad when you get loafers for Christmas, but I'm happy with those. Uh, okay, so this is the stock skid plate that came with the, the Husky 701. And for something stock, I think it's decent, but uh, you know, this will deflect some rocks and and some gravel uh, thrown up by the front wheel, uh, not damaging the, the engine. But if you if you really if you really crush down on a rock with this, this will this will shatter. Uh, this will break if I if I give it a proper hit, and you will most likely uh, hit your engine. So I decided to go with the AXP plastic skid plate. Uh, this is the first time that I ever put a plastic skid plate on my bike uh, on the Tenere 700. I I was thinking about buying this, but you know, in my mind, it, I just I didn't think plastic would be enough protection for a motorcycle. Um, so I went with the Camel ADV's aluminium uh, skid plate for the T7. But this time, I felt like I cannot say that I don't want plastic skid plate on my bike if I haven't tried it. And now that I have held this in my hand and, and kind of examine it, uh, I am sure that this will be more than enough protection for uh, for my bike. And this skid plate, having to kneel down, has linkage protection and on the other side uh, for the rear master brake, <laughs> rear master cylinder for the rear brake uh, has protection. I had one issue that was uh, from factory. The threads on the on the bracket right here was completely toast. Uh, not happy with that, but a couple of zip ties are keeping the skid plate in place. Let's slide around, see how it looks. I think that will do the job. I mainly went with this because it is so much lighter than all the, the metal uh, skid plates. And you know, uh, you know me, light is right. So I'll report back after riding with this for some time and see how it copes with all the, the, the hits and um, off-road riding. I think that was it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. I will see you guys the next time.